Alright YouTube, how are you going? Buster here, weekly video. Uh, well, I was going to do a video on a P base that I picked up uh, last week. It's just this uh, Westfield P base green Mar tot seat. Uh, scratch plate, volume, tone. The usual P base stuff, uh, but <clears throat> that changed when uh, for work uh, I worked in refrigeration and I was up in Sky and I happened to stop in at a shop. I seen this in the window, so I went and had a wee look. Uh, picked it up. I was looking at. The night before, I was actually speaking to a guy who was going to buy a Squire, one of these. Uh, and I was getting it for a, a, a good price, but somebody bet me to it. <clears throat> so, I was kind of bummed out about that, kind of, well, I was looking forward to getting it. Uh, and then, as I said, Sky, I was at the shop, I was in the shop, I drove up four and a half hours. Uh, Go over the sky, literally, I was in my, uh, the job I was doing, I was five minutes. It took me longer to get into the place than it did to actually do the job. So, rather than just about turning and coming straight back, uh, I drove over the bridge, uh, back into Kyle, and this was in just a shop, it wasn't a music shop, it was just a shop that sold random stuff. Uh, walked in, had a look at it spoke to the guy, uh, asked him how much it was, and he told me the price, uh, I, I couldn't say no, couldn't say no, uh, yeah, it was a, uh, definitely, uh, the guy didn't know what he had, uh, and obviously he priced it for what it was, so I'll show you what I got, so this <coughs> is a vintage icon, uh, basically it's their version of a Jaco Pistorius, uh, Pistorius bass so it's the jazz bass, jazz pickups, volume for the neck, volume for the bridge, tone, no scratch plate it's got the holes for the scratch plate, I've ordered a clear one for it uh, so vintage icon series fretless so you'd be sick in the, uh, the price I paid for this and this is in mint condition it's like it's just came out of the shop it's meant to be bode warm uh, it's got Wilkinson bridge brass saddles Wilkinson tuners aged back back of the neck nice and soft and uh, slinky uh, yeah so see you can get start to seal number on these as well which I've got I've had a couple of vintage and the, the, the seal number them so this is uh, I think that's an I 7060976 in fact, it's 17. So this is a 2017 then. Aye, so, you know, I keep saying I, but that's I mean yes in, in Glasgow slang. So it's I as in Indigo 17060976. So it's a 2017. Uh, yeah, really nice. Said I've ordered a, a clear scratch plate. I don't know if I want to put it on or not. I'll tell you. I'll tell you how much I paid for it because to buy these brand new, which this is in mint condition, believe it or not, even though it looks like it isn't, they're three hundred and fifty pound brand new. Second hand about two hundred quid, hundred and fifty quid, depending on. Really, I got this for fifty quid. £50, I got this, who can argue with that, 
Uh, it is vintage, made not a squire. It's a really heavy, heavy, older body on this. Uh, two piece body, never had a tobacco sunburst guitar before. Uh, never. This is my first tobacco sunburst. Really nice to play. So as soon as I brought it back, <coughs> set it up, I had uh, round rounds on it. Uh, I had flat rounds on my. Even, is it there? No, it's not there. My Jim Deacon uh, Aqua bass. Uh, as soon as I brought this, totally different sound. My flat rounds on a, a fretless, totally different sound. So, there you go, £50 guitar. I, I couldn't see no as soon as I got that. I actually questioned the guy, I said, are you sure? 50 quid? He went, yeah. He says, I can't, he said, uh, for him to sell it for what he would, there was a, the kind of reason he, he was selling it for 50 quid is because it sat in shop for a long time and nobody bought it. I don't know if you know, uh, Kyle, just before you over the bridge into Sky, it was a very small village and there's nothing, and I mean nothing for miles. The clue apart from Sky, which is over the bridge, but even that, there's a couple of, it's just a wee small village, and then the next big town up is Portree, which is another 80, 90 mile north. Well, over the bridge and up is uh, Portree, and there's n nothing really about then it's about 80 miles south to Fort William and then to the east it's another 90 miles to Inverness so there's not a lot of people so there will be a lot of people buying bases and I think, I don't know how you came across it but for 50 quid, can you complain? So I'll let you hear it <clears throat> so I'm going to play it through Sorry about this. <coughs> I've kicked the kicked the jack out of my uh, my effects. Got it on mute now. So I'm just gonna get a new tune up because it's relatively new strings. I don't want Yeah. You better babble on about it. It's still kinda tired. I've got my uh, jag tomorrow for the, the old runner. So, so I'm pretty tired of busy week from work this week. Uh, so yeah, flat rounds on it. <coughs> uh, there's, there's something about a, a fretless bass with flat rounds. You kind of get a, an upright bass sort of sound on it. So I'll play neck pick up, <coughs> uh, tone all the way off flat rounds through my BH250 and through my 4 by 12 uh, I'll take off the tone print which had a uh, chorus on it so this is just neck, pick up, volume on, no tone so yeah I 
It's not a very dead Kim, Kim Patterson, uh, but this is fretted and it's got round wounds on it, so you'll you will hear the difference. Uh, I think it is for some reason. I don't know why that's not going there. Get another strap. Yeah. Uh, that many straps with locking locking strap buttons on it, some of them are different different kind of size. So this is just uh, I've done a video on this before. The, the weight difference is unbelievable. This is a maple body, maple neck fretboard, uh, two piece, uh, round rounds on it. Pickups are obviously slightly different, but I play the same. So this is everything all on. Uh, if I have to say. Again, I've done something. I don't know why this is wrong. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. I don't know what I'm doing today, but I'm, I don't edit and cut my videos, so all the mistakes you see is what you get. So, 70s bass replica, uh, fretted with round rounds on it so I'll play the same riff and I'll swap back over and let you get it again so Jazz bass uh, fretted with RS6060 66 round rounds on it. So play the same riff again just so you can hear it. So this is the vintage fretless with Olymp Olympia flat rounds on it. Uh, so we'll just do the same riff again uh, and let you see it. This is a dead deep and warm tone off of this, uh, and that's more a kind of spangly. Uh, as I say, it's, it's, I wouldn't have normally picked up a, a fretless. Uh, I like jazz basses. What I might do is, I've not decided yet, I'm thinking about getting another neck, but a fretted neck for this as well as to have the. Uh, fretless and fretted because I love this body this body is really nice I like the fretless but I really like one of these fretted as well uh, so I don't know I don't know what I'm going to do with this yet I might not even do that I might just sell it I don't know I don't have a clue but I'm definitely liking it uh, I don't know what I keep doing I keep messing about with my amp So there is D 
deals out there to be done and to get. Uh, as, as I keep saying, that's what my channel's all about. It's not about, I'm about spending loads of money on a guitar. Uh, that's how I end up with so many, is because deals come up and I end up picking them up. Uh, and, and then fixing the guitars up. Meaning to sell them on, but I end up keeping them because I just, I just fall in love with them. Uh, I've been playing this non-stop since I got it, since I got home yesterday. I've been playing it non-stop. It's a lovely wee sound, lovely sound of it just sitting, just, and sliding, sliding from uh, what have I done now? I keep, I keep, I don't know what I keep doing. I don't know why I can take this out. Uh, see, I just, I don't, I don't edit my videos. I don't know what I I don't like, yeah, how it turns out, so. Uh, but I just, I just, I just messed about with it. I was playing, uh, And you get that kind of woke, woke that, that kind of wavy sound. You get that off of. You can get that same, that same sound for some reason when you're playing that pick. Uh, string 
going for a four string fretted to a four string fretless and then going for definitely for five strikes we can kind of learning curves definitely wants to be played with fingers not with a plectrum uh, which is another reason why I bought it is because I want to try and get more into playing uh, this kind of this kind of way rather than because normally I either play slap so I normally just play especially when I'm doing like these guys machine stuff Cause I'm just starting to get into uh, playing with fingers and playing with plectrums because I, I used to play a kind of half between slap and finger so I'd play Kagan fan, I don't know if you can maybe tell that, because uh, he was a t-shirt and stuff on, uh, and he, he was describing how he got his sound, and he was saying it's, it's a, a, a whole different, it's a mix between everything, between the amp, the guitar he uses, the strings, and the, the, the gauge of plectrum, and I always use, uh, for some reason I can only use Dunlop, one mil, True Grip, I think was it True Grip? A Man Grip, I think maybe they're called. A Man Grip? Dunlop's. Dunlop 1 mil Man Grip. Or Max Grip, I think maybe. I can't even read that, probably Max Grip. I've tried different other picks I've got. The other 1 mil picks I've tried is. I've got other Dunlop 1 mils. You can see that. I've tried them. Um, too slinky. Don't like them. They slide out your fingers. Just flung that away. Or Ernie Balls. So that was the two I kind of used and I found uh, these Max Grips and I just use Max Grips all the time. So just, that's, just can you give a bit of backstory I'm blabbering about here. So that's, a, that's only half an hour of talking there, dude. Normally my videos are only about 15 minutes long. So you better. Why my planes are a wee bit kind of, uh, I seem to be like, uh, no in a video, just sitting jamming my mates and stuff, I, I can just, I can batter it, whatever, uh, as soon as I'm in front of this video, stuff just flies out the minute, I just forget how to play. My mates kind of like that, uh, we were at a guitar shop last week, and uh, I was playing, a, trying a couple of basses, I'm a bit more confident than him, he's dead shy. Uh, and he just doesn't he? He's, he's the same as a brilliant guitar player. But as soon as he decides to play in front of somebody, he doesn't know. That's it, everything goes right out the window. Uh, I'm a wee bit better, but a better person to person playing in front of somebody, but in front of a camera. I don't, I don't know, I just go right out of my head. So, there you go, a wee bit of blabbing, Friday night video. <coughs> I might. Start doing once I get a wee bit more subscribers over a hundred anyway. Eh, I might start doing a wee live video or on a Friday or a Saturday night. Get out of see how that works out. Eh, 
and just take it from there. So yeah, there is, there is deals out there to be had. You just need to look. I've got advantage by the fact that I work all over the country. When I mean all over the country, I mean from the very south of the country, all the way north, uh, England, Scotland, Ireland and Wales, sometimes Europe. So I get a chance to see guitar shops that nobody really gets to see. I'm always looking out for them. Uh, so, got this one in Sky. The other jazz bass I actually got in Sheffield. Uh, I, I bought a Spectre years ago, I bought for Sheffield as well. I mean, a few other things I get to, buy, I get to see. So if anything unusual comes up or cheap, then I, I'm not likely to get it, but there is, there is decent guitars out there for a decent price. And then once you get them set up, you start playing them, they're fine. So, yeah, there you go. A really long video for this, this week. Probably the longest video that I did. Somebody's not going to watch it, so I don't know. We'll see. So there you go. That's the uh, Vintage Icon series. Jacko Pistorius copy. So that's their copy of our copy. So Jacko's was a standard uh, base that he took the frets out of. Then Fender copied it, made his signature, then they done a Squire version and now Vintage has got the, their Icon series. So, yeah, there you go. Nice wee deal. So, I might do a, I might do a video next week on the P base, or no doubt it'll end up with something else. So, have a good week, guys. Next time you see me, I'll be part one vaccinated. Uh, next time on, uh, have a great week and. Carry on.